my opinion on work-life balance. I mean, it really speaks for itself. Work-life balance to me is for people that love their job and they still want they, you know, they want to divide it up to where, hey, you know, I still need my personal slash me time. Or it's for people that hate their job and don't see a way out. Just victim mindset, like, oh, I'm stuck here. Or, I, you know, this is the only job I got right now. And they're like, you know, I hate my job. So soon as four, five o'clock come, I'm clocking the fuck out and I'm going home. And I need my time at the house. I don't want to see that job. Or if it's a Friday, I don't want to see that job to Monday <laughs> or whatever. You know, like, they like I, 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 I go to work, I make my money and come home. Right. So it's either for those two reasons, because if you trying to be elite successful or just like hyper successful, meaning like you're trying to reach top level at whatever it is that you're doing, there's no work life balance. And I'm not saying like you have to follow that guide of just working 24 seven because it, it was definitely people that balanced it out you know, did the work-life balance and became successful, but they probably had connections. They probably knew people. So it's not for everybody. Like to throw something in there, I seen this guy was like a, a, a nobody, like a guy that nobody knew said, it's okay for me to smoke marijuana because Joe Rogan do it. Bruh, Joe, Ro Joe Rogan is worth 200 million. <laughs> like we don't know you, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's that comparison of, okay, well, that guy was successful, hyper successful off work life balance. Well, he his family was rich or he had connections or he or you know, he knew people. Like it, it's life is about who you know and what you know. Those two things. So you can't go off other people's situations, you gotta go off your situation. And I love to use myself as, as an example, y'all. I started driving trucks when I was nineteen. So from nineteen to twenty four. I was all, all, all my life was just work. Like this was my schedule right here, y'all. Work my 12 to 14 hour shift. After I get off, go to the gym. From the gym back home to study different things that, or, or, or educate myself more, or look at ways I can come up off of. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, what's some good side hustle, side hustles that can make me money, that can replace my job, or you know, what could I create product or service wise to where I can start a business off that and no longer have to work physically for money? That was that, that was the whole plan and goal from 19 to 24. So it took a couple of years for me for me to be able to do it, but I didn't done it. But I didn't do it off like work life balance. I did it off just strictly work, 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 work. And it's not for everybody. That's why they say like being successful is not for everybody because you're going to have to give up something. Like you can't be out here partying, you can't be out here playing. Like that's a part of some people like work work life balance. That's why I think it's for people that love and hate their job. Because people that love their job, they're like, oh yeah, I love this job. You know, this is the best job ever. I love the people here. So I go clock in on my eight to five and then I get off and then that's my time. Same way with the people that hate their job. Oh, I hate this job. If it's a Friday afternoon, uh, when four o'clock come, I'm clocking out. They not gonna see me till Monday. It's me time, it's weekend time, you know? That's why people love the weekend. Like I said, it's either they love their job or hate their job. That's what I feel like with the uh, work-life balance. You know, it's, it's no in-between, but to reach a certain level of success with no connections, you don't come from like a rich background, you know? You don't come really from nothing. Like, it's strictly just you hustling. That's where you have to dig your dig your toes deep in the sand and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to just have to put my nose down and, and work and work and work and keep getting better. Work, keep getting better. Work, keep getting better. Work, keep getting better. And you're going to fail a couple times, depending on what it is that you're doing. You know, whatever it is, you're trying to start a business. You're trying to be a content creator. You're trying to be whatever. You're not going to be successful. Like, I done built up different things, and I try to switch it up and put myself in it. And it's like, okay, I didn't get, I didn't see the results that I wanted, but I'm going to still show up the next day and, 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 and apply that same effort. I'm not going to switch it up just because I'm not seeing the results that I want to see. You have to be consistently on it. That's why if it's like 
If you're looking at life like, oh, okay, I need to work life balance. I'm gonna work my job Monday through Friday, but on the weekend, I'm not doing nothing but watching TV shows and movies and shit, I might go out tonight. You're gonna be stuck at that job forever. You're gonna be that person that, oh, well, in, thir in, 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 in two years, it'll be 30 years for me I done been at this job. And it's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, working the job, it's nothing wrong with working a job, but it's really no accomplishment. Whether you hate or love your job, you're gonna have to work. It don't matter if you're coming from money or, or you're not coming from money. You're not gonna like and enjoy everything that you do. But the, the point I'm trying to make is if you wanna be somewhat successful or you don't wanna work that job that you're working, you hate it, you wanna switch it up, there's no, let me get off work and chill and relax. It's let me get off work and work on me or let me get off work and work on this side hustle or this business i've been building that that's how you're going to keep climbing the ladder and you're going to fail you get back up try it again you're going to keep climbing up but the thing is you got to keep doing that sometimes i require seven days a week i'm not saying work 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 hard 24 hours a day locking in like no i do believe like me my getaway is just going to the gym working out me and my partner are driving around the city to look at houses, look at different buildings. I love real estate, so we love looking at like property development, going around different parts of the city just to see each small town, you know, what they build and stuff like that. That's like my getaway. I'm not really too much crazy with like going out to party or go have fun like that. Me and my partner, we will travel occasionally just to see a different part of the world. I, I do believe you have to add things in like that to not, cause sometimes you can burn out. Working 24 seven, you can definitely burn out. And I feel like they don't talk about that enough. Like all these people telling people, yeah, you need to work hard 24 seven. No, you work hard 24 seven, you might just burn out. Once you burn out, you might not wanna do that business no more, or you might not wanna be a content creator no more. Like sometimes you have to enjoy yourself, you know, take a little break. But work-life balance is, for the people that get off, like I said, work their job, get off, and then forget that they got a job. As far as like, oh, I forgot I gotta go to work tomorrow. So, But you know, let me take my butt to sleep. You know, I gotta get up in the morning. But when they get off, they act as if they don't have a job. Like, no, if you wanna escape your job, you gotta keep reminding yourself, shit, I'm at this job. I'm at this job. If I love it, okay, cool, I'll stay here. I'm fine with working a nine to five, but if I hate it, you know what? Let me find something to replace this job. If you want to be an entrepreneur, that's how you got to be. You can't be, oh, well, I need a break today. You know, it's raining and I had a headache earlier. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. No, it's work, 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 work 24 seven. That's what I did literally from 19 to 24. I ain't gonna say like mine was work-life balance. I did stuff here and there as far as like, seeing different parts of the city, traveling just a tad bit, and fitness. Like I said, I like working out. That's like my therapy and fun. But I like switching it up. But I do work out every day. That was literally my schedule, y'all. From 19, even till now, I, that's still my schedule. I work out, try, I try to go every day, every day. But I switch it up. That's where I might do cardio one day. Next day I might do chest, legs. So I switch it up. I try to make it as fun as I can. You know, who love working out like that, right? But train the body, the mind to follow. So that's why I stay in the gym. Keep my mind sharp, keep my body on point. Mentally, physically, it just benefit me. So that's what worked for me. But that's my take on people that do the work-life balance.